Hello everyone and welcome to Mount Nunu, one of the mountains in the Glasshouse Mountains in the sunny coast. We've been wanting to hike this for ages, we're super stoked to be here, so we're going to go. It's about 30 minutes, we're going to catch the sunset. So yeah, the last time we tried to come here, uh, there was the National Park Rangers and they were doing a controlled burn. So when we came through, we could just see smoke sort of like coming out of the forest and they said, yeah, you can't really come in here for the next 24 hours just to be safe. Uh, so instead we went to a near one of the base of the other mountains. We just got some photos and hung out and watched the sunset from there. But up here is supposed to be epic. So this walk is super peaceful, it's really pretty. I'm not sure if it's because of all the rain we've had over the last couple of weeks, but everything seems to be really green. Um, and we've just hit some stairs, so we're going a little bit slower now. <laughs> you see some kind of cool cave area. I'm really loving this walk. Right, it's going to be a little bit tricky for us to try and show you this. I think you really have to be here to see how, how it is, but we'll try. Massive cave, sort of opening there, and the path up that way and around. Um, but yeah, it's hard to put that into one shot. This is so cool. Is it a cave? Well, I guess it's some kind of cave. I think we surely must be at the top now, that's what we're nearing the summit. I think we must be nearly there. I can see what I think is the top, like a rocky outcrop. And I'm hoping we can now go and find some really cool places to get some sunset shots. Good spot to watch it, but we're actually now going to go up to the very top. I just had the drone up, and it's so pretty. But I had to like really overexpose the sky to try and get any definition. But we're going to go up to the top now, and hopefully, when the sun goes down, we'll get some more epic uh, yellows and reds. One of my favourite hikes for sure, especially short day hikes and sunset hikes, but it just looks amazing. Okay, so as you can see, we highly recommend this hike to everyone and anyone really. It's pretty uh, accessible to all fitness levels. Um, you might just have to take it a bit slower if you're a little bit more unfit. Um, but once you get to the top, you get to see uh, Mount Tibrigagan, you've got Bewa, Mount Kanaurin over there, as well as Wild Horse Mountains, and all the other Glasshouse Mountains around, and the Mullaney Ridgeline. Uh, it's a beautiful hike, so yeah. The 
the moon is looking just as beautiful as the sunset so I'm constantly like we're very very lucky tonight I just wish I could capture the moon because it's so beautiful I think we definitely had a bit of luck on our side tonight with the sunset we weren't really sure if it was going to pay off coming up here uh, just because of the cloud cover but if you look at the way the clouds are like framing the shot it just I don't think we couldn't have could have got much more lucky than that it was just like perfect all like when everything just aligns like that and it just worked out so good <laughs> and we've nearly got a full moon behind us and we're nearly losing all our daylight so we might head back down now uh, and we will see you guys in the next vlog uh, where we go on some adventure where shall it in south east queensland somewhere who knows bye